Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Tashika Bailey and if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button down below and join the family. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me. I'm going to be doing my makeup and just talking to you guys and opening up about how I've been feeling for the past few weeks because some stuff has been going on in my life and I just don't share that kind of stuff on YouTube. You guys know that I'm not very personal. I don't come on here talking about all my personal business, but I just feel like it's time for a change like I just need to just open up sometimes and let you guys in so you can connect with me and be able to relate to me on a deeper level I feel like this is the perfect time to do that I've gone ahead and made myself a smoothie because I feel like this video is going to be so long this has strawberries bananas raspberry um blueberries and sea moss and i just added water i didn't add any sweetener either because i'm trying to be a little bit healthy but i'm not having to take away that is <laughs> i heard that sea moss is so good for you so i started making sea moss smoothies and yeah i can't wait to see the difference in a few months if it actually does anything to my skin or to my body and my energy in general mm. Mm. let's start by doing my eyebrows you know what guys, looking at my skin, I haven't actually used Tretinone in a while. You guys know, if you've been following me on my channel, then I've been using Tretinone in a skincare um, product to help my skin, my acne, my hyperpigmentation. And I haven't used it in a good few months. I don't think I've actually used it at all this year. And I can see that my skin is starting to get a lot of acne again and hyperpigmentation which is not good so I might have to start using it I don't know I think about it but anyways let me get into doing my eyebrows actually let me add my primer first so the primer that I'm going to be using is the Too Faced Peached and Prime what's it called Primed and Peachy Primer and this is the Skin Perfecting Mattifying Primer you guys know I have oily skin so I need products that's very mattifying because my skin is the oiliest can't lie my lips are feeling so dry and I've run out of Vaseline so I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in Glass Slip-On this is just a clear gloss just to moisturize my lips so they're not so dry for my brows i'm going to use the fenty beauty brow mvp pencil in medium brown to conceal my brows i'm using the la girl pro concealer in creamy beige so what i've actually started to do is only put in the concealer at the bottom of my brow and just leaving the top because it looks more natural so i'm going to use the Too faced born this way foundation foundation and this is in the shade butter pecan and i'm just gonna put one pump in each side of my face and just blend that out and i like to do this and then just blend it into my eyebrows so it just blends together and it just blends out and looks seamless there's so much I want to talk about. I've actually written down like a little list with bullet points. I remember to talk about everything. Let's start with my weight loss because this time last year, guys, I was a size 8. I was fully a size 8 and I've never been a size 8 before ever in my life. And the thing is, when I gained weight, I didn't realise that I gained weight. In the Opoly video, yeah? That's when my mom noticed that I was gaining weight because I'm always a size six. I've always been a size six since like high school and I've never been any bigger. I bought the dresses in size eight because I know that they make their dresses extremely small and they're usually supposed to be tight fitted. So usually they have a little bit of stretch to them. So I bought them in a size eight. We filmed that Opoly video in March 20, 2020 and the dresses were so tight. The size 8 was so tight, I was like, no, nah, I didn't gain weight. They actually made the dresses tight, like, they just made them smaller. Like, this is a size 6, but they made it, like, they changed the sizing to make it a size 8. You know, they've been doing that, even in Primark. I'm usually, like, a size extra small in Primark, now I'm a 2 times extra small. And they didn't used to have 2 times extra small before. So I'm thinking, so they just invented a, a smaller size and then make me think that I'm a 2 times extra small when I'm actually a size extra small. 
So the difference between this year and last year why I actually gained weight is that I had a partner so I was seeing someone and we were just eating takeaway every single day takeaway for breakfast takeaway for lunch takeaway for dinner like we'll just wake up and I'll be like babes I'm hungry and he'll be like what do you want to eat I'm like I don't know are you gonna cook none of us were gonna cook so we're just like okay do you want to order food like we'd order food for breakfast we'd sleep in the whole day and like wake up at 12 midday and would order food for breakfast they'll drop it off I'll stay later in the evening and I'll be like I'm hungry and he's like what do you want to eat and I'll be like I don't know what I want to eat what, what you got for me and he'll be like you want to order takeaway I'll be like okay <laughs> so I'll just order takeaway like two three times a day at his place <laughs> and obviously he's paying in it so I'm just there like hey so I'll imagine eating takeaway two three times a day every few days it wasn't every single day but every few days i was bound to gain weight but i just didn't realize i just didn't see it happening and we weren't doing anything like we weren't going out we weren't doing any kind of activities <laughs> to keep us active i can't lie i did go to the gym for like a small small section of that relationship because i bought this um workout guide from dariana nova and i didn't know how to like be in the correct form so when I'm in the gym obviously there's a, a way to do each workout and you have to be in the correct form to like target the muscles and all these things this is why I don't go gym it's just so complicated I'll learn in the future but for now yeah I was like okay your man you go gym you can show me how it's done so I showed him the guide and he tried to help me do each exercise it didn't last long though I literally went to the gym like couple times I can count on my finger how many times we went to the gym together I can't lie two lazy people in a relationship not lazy but comfortable you know when they say when you're happy you just get so comfortable you just want to be at home all the time or you just want to chill you don't want to do anything that was us so obviously we were, we were bound to gain weight I think even he gained weight because <laughs> none of us was doing anything so I gained weight and I didn't even realize so when that relationship ended I was trying to save as much money as I could so instead of spending my money on takeaway I set myself a budget and I said to myself listen you're gonna cook like when your parents go as though you're gonna give them a shopping list because usually when they go shopping I stay at home and I watch the kids because my mum don't drive so my dad will drive them go shopping and I'll stay and watch the kids I give them my shopping list and then they buy me whatever but the thing is I like eating but I don't like cooking like I just don't cook I just don't do it like cooking is not for me so during that time like I was barely eating I wasn't really eating a lot after the breakup so this was like how how long ago was that oh my gosh it's been like a year that whole time I was losing weight and I didn't realize basically because I wasn't eating and I wasn't ordering takeaways so I wasn't eating as much as I was before so I lost weight I went down to like a size six I think I'm even a size four now a size four because sometimes I put on size six and it doesn't even fit me it's, it's, it's big it's just hanging off my body and that's the issue like I have no problem being small or being petite I've never had a problem with it but when my clothes are just swinging off my body just chilling like just it's like why why are you there why are you so big like why are you just chilling like you're supposed to fit me properly that's when it's frustrating and I just get pissed off because you're supposed to fit properly you're supposed to fit my body properly and you don't like it makes me feel like I don't have a nice body and I know I have a nice body it's obviously the clothes that's the problem it's like you're the problem it's not me but yeah it's like what can I do if they don't make sizes small enough to fit me and obviously in the kids section they're not going to make these like nice sexy big woman clothes that I like to wear they're not making that in the kids section so it's like it's either you gain weight or you invent your own clothing line and make your own clothes that suits your body shape and your body type because these brands even when I buy size 4 it still doesn't fit me and most brands their smallest size is a size 6 so is that where does that leave me I guess I can't wear clothes like <sighs> that's how I kind of feel like I can't wear a certain brand or certain item because it just doesn't fit me or that it's just not small enough to fit me so right now 
I definitely do want to gain weight. I'm not going to do anything crazy to try and like force myself to gain weight because I never want to do anything that is like forceful because obviously if you're forcing something it's just not meant to be so why would you want to force the weight obviously I want weight but I'm not going to force it last year I bought like four bottles of Pepitamin because I've been looking at how to gain weight and like going gym just takes forever and it's just so long that's why people do surgery because it just takes forever but me I can never do surgery like I'm too I'm too shook to do surgery I feel like there's something that's gonna go wrong and to be honest it's not that deep it's 100% not that deep for me to go and do surgery like I want to do it naturally just by eating and just just gaining weight naturally that's how I want to do it so yeah as I said last year I went and bought like four bottles of a Peterman because I've been watching like so many videos on how to gain weight and I saw that a Peterman was a way that you could gain weight why are you screaming outside my door why yeah, so I bought the four bottles and I was thinking and thinking and thinking if I should take it or if I shouldn't take it because I don't want to rely on something to maintain the weight after I gain the weight and I heard that after, well, a pee it helps you to eat, like it opens your appetite, help you to eat more throughout the day and once you stop taking it, if you stop eating and you go back to how you were eating before, obviously you're going to lose weight. I don't like relying on things like that. I don't even like taking pills, like simple paracetamol i don't like taking it so why should i go and now take this like drug looking thing that everyone else is taking online because i want to gain weight and then when something happens to me now and i end up in hospital who am i going to blame i have no one to blame but myself because you're perfectly fine and healthy and then all of a sudden you went and drank this thing because you want to gain weight and now you're in hospital that's how i look at it so whew, that spooked me out and i was like yeah nah it's not for me, I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna try and gain weight, gain weight naturally. Last year I saved my money and I ended up buying my first car. And this has put me in a position to be able to order takeaways again. <laughs> and it's like, I'm trying to save weight, I'm trying to save money, but I'm trying to gain weight at the same time. So it's like, it's either you buy food and you cook the food See, I'm not even doing my makeup, guys. Like, how do people do this? So, I'm gonna go in the concealer, and this is the Born This Way Sculpting Concealer in Latte. And this is what I'm gonna use to highlight. I love this concealer to highlight, it's so good. So, yeah, I'm trying to gain weight, but I'm trying to save money at the same time. Me being someone who doesn't like to cook, but I love to eat, I like to just have the food there like I don't want to cook I just want to order takeaway every day that's why I ended up ordering takeaway whenever I, uh, when I was in that relationship so I'm kind of in a sticky situation I'm like do you want to gain weight or do you want to save money but it's like I do want to save money but I do want to look good in my clothes do you get it so for me to order takeaway and eat I don't mind I don't mind doing it like, I need to gain weight I want to gain weight so I don't mind ordering takeaway like I'll cook sometimes but I know that when I order takeaway I'm gonna eat more throughout the day and when I order takeaway I don't order just one meal I order like two three meals so I can have two meals throughout the day and then the next day I can eat the food as well because why go across the road and buy chicken and chips and then you're spending like a fiver and then that's just one meal where I can order like in bulk let's say and then have two or three meals for today and tomorrow that's what i order so i actually end up spending quite a bit of money i can't lie but at the end of the day i'm gonna get thick <laughs> and i'm gonna look good in my clothes so i know that's good it's for a good cause in my video like everyone is commenting in the video like you're not a size six you're a size four you're not a size four you're a size two like size six don't fit you and i'm like okay i get it but I didn't ask anyone to give me suggestions on what size they think I am. Obviously, I didn't realise that I lost weight, which is why I kept buying size 6 in my try and hauls. But it's like, I'm not trying to lose more weight. So I'm not going to now go run and buy a size 4, go and buy a size 2 when I know that I'm going to gain the weight back. Because then that's just a waste. I'm going to continue buying size 6 and then... Hopefully I go up in size, not even hopefully, I'm gonna go up in size guys. If you guys have been seeing the way I've been ordering takeaway recently, you will know that I'm going to get weight, gain weight soon. Oh, guys, my brother just won't stop crying, like why?
no one's done anything to him. Like, no one's hit him. No, nothing's wrong with him. He's just screaming for no reason. This is why I don't film in my house. Like, I hate when I'm trying to film a video and I'm just trying to be professional and just film a nice video and then he's just there screaming. My little sister's screaming. My dad's watching FIFA and screaming at the TV. It's just mad. Like, that's why I don't do these kind of videos or vlog. It's just long. Just long. Like, why are you crying? For what? Anyways, yeah, so that's how I've been feeling, like, on weight gain. I'm not going to force anything, but I'm definitely trying to gain weight. But it's not like I'm going to go out of my way and now start going gym. <laughs> or, like, do a BBL or anything like that. Like, I could never. Like, not me. Hell no. The only thing I can do is eat. And that is what the peat moon would make you do, it would just make you eat. So if you could just eat on your own, then you don't need to take a pitamin, right? I know some people struggle to eat throughout the day, like I used to struggle to eat meals throughout the day. But listen, if you want to gain weight, you will find the strength and you will find the space in your belly to eat food, okay? You will make yourself want to eat food. See, this is why I've made like these smoothies. Though it's healthy, I have like two glass, this is the first one. <laughs> That I didn't show you guys the first glass that I had and this is the second glass and I've obviously had breakfast I haven't had lunch yet, but I'm gonna eat that soon So yeah, I'm gonna have lunch and then I'm gonna have dinner What time? Oh, it's after four. So yeah, then I'm gonna have dinner. I might order takeaway later on <laughs> Oh my gosh guys <sighs> My driving test is coming up soon I know another one Another driving test is coming up and this time I can't afford to fail this one. I can't afford it, like I need to pass. Like, it's kind of been not stressing me but I've been thinking about it a lot and it gives me anxiety. Now I'm a bit more relaxed because I thought about it and it's like, you're going to pass. There's no other way that the test could go except for you to pass. Like you, you're not that bad of a driver. So what what is it that you would do on the test that would make you feel like you're not gonna crash into anyone. You're not gonna run a red light. Do you know what I mean? Stuff like that. You know what you're doing. When you're reversing, turn your head and look behind you. When he says turn left, mirror, mirror, signal and turn the, do you know what I mean? Like I know exactly what I'm doing. So I don't see a reason why I would fail. But me saying this, I know that there's a chance that I will fail. And that's the worst part. Like, even though I know all of this, you never know what might happen on the test and what would make you fail. Which is why I just get so anxious. I'm like, I don't wanna fail, I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. Like, I got a new instructor and I just posted a video on my channel with my new instructor. So if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. His name is Francis and he's from the channel driving school tv so go and check it out i did a mock test as well and that is on his channel so you can watch that video to see how well i'm driving <laughs> and see if i passed or fail the mock test mm. the things that they fail you for though it's so shocking like the, the simplest things they'll just be like yeah you're failed and you're like for what like simple things that anyone could like everyone does these things after they pass but they make it so so difficult for you to get your license it's a joke <laughs> guys i'm laughing because my test is so close and i haven't told anyone the exact date the first time i did my test i think i told did i tell everyone i think i told everyone and i was so confident that i would pass because i knew exactly what i was doing i was not nervous at all i was so confident and i failed the second time I think I told people as well and then the third time I was like you know what when I tell nobody I'm not telling anyone when I do this test no one's gonna know and that's I was like maybe that's the secret not telling anyone little did I know it wasn't <laughs> so this time I was like you know what I'm, I'm still not telling anyone I don't care I'm not telling anyone when my test date is so it's so close literally around the corner but no one knows but no one knows when it is I'm not even going to tell you guys, but I think by the time this video has gone up I might have done my fourth test by then and I should be a qualified driver because I've got confident in myself that I'll pass this test like there's no reason for me to fail if that guy says you, you fail like the examiner, I will fight you like because 
I know how to drive. I'm a safe driver. I know how to drive. So it, at the end of the test, he's gonna be like, "Yeah, you've passed." I'm gonna be like, <laughs> "I knew it. I knew it." Finally, like I'm just waiting because the car is just chilling there, looking at me like, "What are you doing? Are you not gonna drive? Are you not gonna get your license?" And I've been working so hard and practicing with Francis. I actually had like my first lesson with him. Then I did the mock test. And he said I'm driving test standard, so there's no reason for me to fail. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll see how that test goes. Give me anxiety. But I'm trying to just relax and calm down and not think about it too much. Because at the end of the day, it's just a driving test. And you know why I'm having anxiety, though? Although it's just a driving test, it's the fact that if I fail that test, I'm going to have to wait four, five, even six months for me to rebook another test because there's no test up until September. So if you if you just pass your theory and you're like, let me go put my driving test today, like you're not getting, gonna get a date until September. And who's got time to wait all the way till September to book another driving test? Do you know how far September is? The last test I did in December, I flopped it. I f completely just, I just got nervous because I was thinking like, oh my gosh, I can't flop this. If I flop this, I'm gonna have to redo it. Oh my gosh, I can't redo it because there's like this long way and then they're putting us in lockdown so I was overthinking everything while sitting in the car this is what I was thinking like you can't fail oh my gosh you've got this chance and I just flopped the test so this time I'm just gonna be like you know what I don't care I know I can drive and that's all I need to prove and that's what I'm gonna need to do so my baby brother's crying plus my other brother's crying but yeah we continue we move on and we're still gonna try and film and do this video I need to move out I need to move out if I don't move out I'm gonna cry like <laughs> oh my god I need to move out see I have to laugh because <laughs> if I don't laugh I'll cry I've been in lockdown with my family for the past year like this whole corona lock <laughs> This whole corona lockdown situation, I've been with them for like so long and honestly guys I'm tired of it, I need a change, I need a holiday, I need a different house, I just need to move out, I just need to do something, I just need a change, do you get what I'm saying, I just need a change. I've said this before but I live in a three bedroom house, yeah, it used to be my mum, my dad, me and my brother, yeah, my brother is 19. It used to be just us and then all of a sudden my mum just started having kids just as you do when you're a married couple you just have kids so she ended up having three extra kids and then now the house is packed obviously me and my brother are still occupying our bedrooms and it's like I need my own space the house isn't big enough for everyone I need to move out so I'm trying to put some plan into action and like try and move myself out of this house as soon as possible because even like to film videos it's just it just it's just a lot like I have to like try and plan when they're not here but they're always here because you have to stay home and obviously they're kids so it's like you're not gonna be all over the place with them visiting family members or like going out unless my mom has an appointment she doesn't really go anywhere with the kids and she's still on maternity leave so she doesn't they're just always home basically always screaming and just being loud and i'm just like i can't do this <laughs> i actually have a seven month old brother i have a one year old or she's one and four months she's one and four months and then i have a brother who's four years old and Obviously my brother that's 19, but the kids are the reason why the house is like this. And I'm just trying to move out. I'm the oldest, so I'm just trying to move the heck out of this place so I can have my own space and just be able to film. Like wake up and just go into the kitchen and just make my breakfast. And just not have anyone like screaming or crying or you know what I mean? That kind of stuff because it is draining. 
obviously I'm not their mom, I'm not looking after them, but like just being here and just trying to get work done because obviously I work from my room, like this is my bedroom and it's the only space that I have in the house. So if I had my own place, it would just make things so much more easier. So I'm trying to work towards doing that. For my contour, I use the Fenty Beauty Concealer in 470. I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Mattifying Face Powder. And I'm gonna use that and just set my face. So I'm gonna set the places that I've highlighted. This is like a translucent pressed powder that helps to keep your face matte because as I said my face is so so oily like you don't you probably don't believe it but it's so oily I need a matte primer matte setting spray matte foundation matte powder matte everything <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzer in Coco Naughty and I'm going to use that with should I use this brush or this brush hmm I'm going to use this brush. All my brushes are from Primark, by the way. Like, I don't like washing brushes and washing sponges or anything like that. So I never buy anything expensive. Because if anything, I'll just throw them away and buy a new one. So I think it's the Primark powder brush. And this was like £2, I believe. But Primark brushes are really, really nice though. I can't lie. Like, I'm scared to try their makeup. I wouldn't actually try their makeup. Like, all these brands like... Boohoo or misguided and whoever that's dropping makeup like I'm actually scared because you have no business Getting into makeup like what do you know about makeup like your brand is a clothing brand and then you want to be dropping makeup I don't know what's gonna what Can I even talk today? <laughs> I don't know what your products are gonna do to my face and especially when I have acne and oily skin and hyperpigmentation and all this stuff going on on my skin like I'm not out here trying to take risks like putting primark makeup on my face and especially that they're so cheap as well like I'm scared <laughs> I actually wanted to do a series where I tried makeup products from different brands so like boohoo I know pretty little thing I don't know if they have their own brand but I know that they do have like makeup and Primark and all these other high street stores I'm just like you're out here selling makeup let me try but then I got scared and I was like yeah I'm not doing that along with the whole lockdown and like living with my parents and just having so many people in the house it's just like I need a holiday like I need a change I can't be locked up with you guys for so long like I need to go on a holiday and where would I go you guys already know I want to go to Jamaica that's where I want to go like I want to book my ticket and go to Jamaica I need to go ASAP because this country right now is not good for me like I feel like I just need to go away and just recharge and just live in nature and just be peaceful and just go to the beach and just let the sunshine touch my skin and just be in the water like that's what I need but in this country it's like what, what are we doing? Even though they've opened up the shops and we're allowed to go, I think, are we allowed to go cinema? I don't know. But we're allowed to like have outdoor dinners, but it's, it's like, it's cold. Like I wanted to book a restaurant, but we can only sit outside. And I'm not gonna be sitting outside in the cold. I know it's spring or whatever, but to me, this is cold. Like 11 degrees, it's cold, it's freezing. I can't go sit in a restaurant or outside a restaurant in my jacket and just try and eat food like I need to be comfortable and warm to even enjoy the food I just need to be in Jamaica right now like I need to be in Jamaica I want them to what's it called lift the travel ban I went to renew my passport recently because it's like I need to get the heck up on out of here I can't stay in this country <laughs> I'm moving that's it I'm moving like I think I told you guys already like it's my dream to move back to Jamaica I would love 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 to move back to Jamaica and I know like the crime rate is a lot right now and I don't think that's going to go down pretty, in like any time soon to be honest. It's been like that for a while but it seems like it's getting so much worse. <sighs> Lord please watch over my country, get the people to forget their minds straight because they're making the country look so bad. My mum, whenever I, wanna, I tell her I want to go to Jamaica, it's like she just gets scared because she thinks something's going to happen to me when I'm there. And it's like, listen, if me got dead anyway, I Jamaica me want dead. <laughs> Bury me in Jamaica. I don't want to be buried here.
But yeah, them things are not gonna happen. I rebook it. I wanna book my ticket and just fly to Jamaica and just have a good time and then come back and just be able to refocus my mind and like produce content to the best of my ability because right now I just feel drained like I wish I could take a break and just, well it's like I want to take a break but I don't actually need to take a break from producing content I need to just be out of this house and out of this environment because I just feel kind of stuck in this environment and I also wanted to talk to you guys about creating content with my mum because I know a lot of people subscribe to my channel because of the videos of my mum yes I've been producing a lot of them recently and that's because I know you guys enjoy them but it doesn't mean that my channel is gonna like turn into a, a channel that just has videos of me and my mum like I made this channel with the purpose of me creating the videos that I enjoy to create because obviously when you start YouTube no one is there to watch your videos you just start your channel and you're like this is the videos I want to make I want to make fashion videos or you say oh I want to do gaming or I want to make a cooking channel because you enjoy that kind of stuff that kind of content yeah so I created a channel saying oh I want to do a channel where I express my sense of fashion and my style i wanted to learn how to do makeup because at the time i wasn't very good at doing makeup and hell yes i've learned <laughs> so yeah i wanted to learn how to do makeup and i also wanted to get better at just speaking and uh, expressing myself and i know that i haven't really been doing that because i don't really talk and express myself on youtube and plus when you're filming a video it's usually just me so i'm not in front of an audience or anything like that so yeah that doesn't really help because i want to get better at public speaking as well like i have public speaking anxiety i have that like i'll be standing on in the stage in front of people giving a speech and i'll just drop down because i have anxiety and it just it just kind of suffocates me and stifles me so i'm like okay if i create this channel it will just bring different opportunities to me do you get what i'm saying like i can do panel talks i can talk in front of people like on stage and go to different events and stuff like that obviously covid <laughs> kind of stopped that in its tracks but you know that's the reason why i created my channel that's what i'm trying to say to you guys like that was the purpose of creating my channel not to make videos with my mom though i realize you guys enjoy those videos which is why i continue to make them but i want to be able to create a brand for myself which is tashika bailey that is able to stand on its own without my mom that means whenever i post any video i want the same amount of views i want the same response the videos that I post to my mum, they're like way up here in views, like way up in views, yeah? And then when I post a video with myself, the views are like down here. The energy, is just, it just doesn't match up and it's like, I feel like the channel is now like my mum's channel. <laughs> Even though I'm the one doing most of the work, like I'm the one that invested in this channel like i invested in all the equipment like the mic that i have the camera that i have the ring light the the lighting do you get what i'm saying the memory card the everything the laptop the everything like i've invested my time a lot of my time into doing youtube because obviously i have been doing it for like how long now like five years from 2016 this july will be five years since I started YouTube and I kind of feel like it's turned into something that I didn't see happening like I didn't like predict that this would happen I didn't see this happening it just kind of happened like randomly just kind of happened but and I know people are going to be like oh okay you don't want it to be a mother daughter channel you don't want to have your mom featured on the channel but why did you continue making so many videos with her and the reason is the videos with my mum, they get the most views, evidently, and when you make videos that do really well on your channel, obviously, the more views, the more money. Simple as that. And I wanted to make money during that time. I didn't realise that people who subscribe to my channel wasn't going to give the same energy to just 
to the videos of just me, if that makes sense. Like, you subscribe to my channel, you see the name Tashika Bailey, you don't see the name Tashika and Mom or anything else, but then I post a video of my mum, you're like, oh my gosh, you post a video of their mum. You click and you watch it and you're excited, you comment on it, and then when I post a video by myself, you're like, oh, Tashika. I'm not going to watch that one, I'm not interested. Whether it's a driving vlog, whether it's a chit chat get rid of me like this one, whether it's just me trying on clothes by myself, there's even people commenting on those videos just saying, where's your mum? I miss your mum. Why didn't you put your mum in this video? And I'm like, but is it my mum's channel? You guys do realise my mum has three kids, like three babies that she needs to look after and it's like she only has this time as well because she's on maternity leave and it's not a lot of time like <laughs> you can hear them screaming my sister scream my brother screaming and the little they're all screaming so it's like me coming to her every minute and be like mom can we film can we film can we film <sighs> can be annoying for her she's only in my videos because she wants to help me make money and like grow my audience but she didn't know as well that people would subscribe but not watch my videos by myself it's a bit strange i've never seen anything like this ever in my life i told her as well i was like i've never seen a channel <laughs> like mine like it's kind of doing well but is it really doing well like can my content stand on its own can my brand stand on its own on its own two feet without having my mum and that's what i'm gonna test for the next few weeks or even months i'm just gonna post videos by myself and see what happens <laughs> i'm pretty sure my views are gonna go way down way way down and this has actually given me anxiety as well like whenever i go to post a video by myself now i'm like oh my gosh no one's gonna watch it my mom's not in it they're gonna be asking for my mom they only care about videos of my mum, they don't care about me. Like, that's how I've been feeling towards content. And I was like to my manager, because i got a manager now, I was like, girl, I need to take a break. Like, I don't even know what my brand is anymore. Like, I don't know what kind of content I want to create without my mum. Like, I'm a bit lost, but this is my job, so I can't just run away and just get all in my emotions and be like, I can't film, no one's watching my videos. Like, I have to continue making videos regardless of how I feel. I can't just run away and be like, oh, no one's watching my video. Let me just run and go on holiday and then think about it. Like, I have to keep making videos because this is my main source of income right now. But how do you think I was able to buy my car during a pandemic? Because I was making loads of videos of my mum and you guys are watching them. And it was making me a lot of money. And I'm very grateful for that. Like, I'm very, very grateful. But... I want my channel to be able to stand, or my brand, should I say, because this is my brand and my business. I want it to be able to stand on its own two feet without having anything to do with my mum. So regardless if I make a video by myself or a video with my mum, it should get roughly the same amount of views. Do you get what I'm saying? So now I'm going to go in with my set spray. And I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray. I've been using this one recently. I used to use the All Nighter Long Wear Setting Spray and then I swapped to this one and I really, really do love this one. After spraying my set spray, what I do is I use the same sponge that I've been using. I just use the other side of no foundation and I just pat in the setting spray into my skin. And this just gives me a smoother finish. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with mascara. I'm using the Fenty Beauty mascara in, what is this? It's called the Full Frontal, Frontal Mascara. Today, I'm going to put on some lashes. Usually, I don't wear lashes. You guys know, like, I'm not really a lash fan. I feel like whenever I do lashes, I just mess up the whole makeup look because the glue is going to just get everywhere and I just don't have time for it. So usually, I just avoid doing lashes. But today, I'm feeling like doing some lashes. So I just prep my eyelashes with this mascara and then i'm just gonna go in with the lashes and show you guys which one i'm using in a minute what was i saying to you guys oh, i was talking about the content that i'm gonna be creating yeah so as i said moving forward i'm gonna like test out the theory and see what it does to my channel i'm a little bit um anxious should i say i was gonna say scared well i'm more anxious because as i said this is my full-time career like this is my main source of income right now and obviously if I'm making videos by myself and the views are dipped because you guys only subscribe to watch videos of me and my mum then obviously that's gonna <laughs> do some damage to my bank account you know but I feel like I have faith 
in knowing that the content that I create is going to attract the audience that is meant to attract because I mean that's all I can do like create what I want to create and whoever's meant to watch it they'll find it you know and they'll just resonate with my content regardless if my mom is in the video or not I know a lot of people who have subscribed to watch videos of just my mom like they might like the videos that I make by myself as well but I don't know because it's like I'm just sitting here so anxious to post a video on my own and like that's why I've actually continued making videos of my mom because I'm like oh my gosh this video got 100,000 views of my mom I was like shit then let's make another one because this is what people want to see so I'm scared to make videos by myself because I'm like I don't know if they're even going to watch it and then what if I make the video and I love the video and I post it and like I just don't get the response that I think it deserves like and this is so different I was even explaining it to my mom and she kind of understands but this is so different to in the beginning because in the beginning when I started my channel I had like well before my mom came onto my channel I think I had like 2,500 subscribers it was very low like my subscriber count but those 2,500 people subscribed to my channel because they liked me and they liked the content that I was creating at the time though it wasn't a lot and I wasn't getting like thousands of views like those people actually enjoyed the content that I made and that made me happy because I'm like oh I just wanted to build an authentic audience that loved me and loved my content without having to like buy subscribers or like beg anyone to be on their channel do you know what I mean stuff like that because if I really wanted to I could just pay for subscribers or like I have youtuber friends I could be like hey can I come on your channel and just um you can give me a shout out and then your audience will subscribe to me but I didn't want to do it that way I just wanted to build my channel organically and authentically and then now I just kind of feel like this isn't organic <laughs> or authentic because like, these people don't want to watch your videos, they're not here for you, where's my mascara? But here it is, it's like, yeah, they're not here for you, they don't resonate with you, they just come to watch your mum, so it's like, oh, so now it's my mum's channel. <laughs> and she doesn't even do anything, guys, all she does is come and sit in the videos and, like, talk. She hasn't, like, invested any money, she hasn't, like, all she does is, like, give the time that you see she does for each video, like, anything behind the scenes that's not that has nothing to do with that particular video that she's in. She hasn't done anything. I'm the one that like set up the room to film, I like plan the videos, I like, I have a manager, I just got an accountant, you know, I'm setting up myself and then all, all, I'm, all I do is like set up the room and be like, mom, come join the video. She joins the video. When I'm like trying on clothes, I buy all the clothes, like I buy all the food that we eat or, do you know what I mean? That kind of stuff. I reach out to brands before I had a manager and like try and get us gifted products or whatever but yeah as I'm saying as I said I'm the one that does everything but it's like it seems like you, you guys really just just want to see my mum in all my videos so it's kind of giving me anxiety but yeah I'm trying to move past that belief and just make whatever videos I want to make and just see what happens like if you guys want to watch then watch if you don't want to watch then you don't want to watch but I know that that is a risk for me because my paycheck like significantly decrease like I know that well that's a risk that I'm willing to take like one way or another I have to get my brand to be able to stand on its own two feet and that's what I'm gonna do moving forward because really and truly I'm like what happens when I move out and I live by myself and I'm like vlogging like by myself in my own house what's gonna happen then like I wouldn't be able to make videos with my mum then what happens when I go on holiday and I'm making videos by myself are you guys gonna be like screaming at me to make videos with my mum I feel like everything has its time and like obviously eventually these whole mum videos will just naturally end and the brand my brand Tashika Bailey still needs to be there still needs to be able to stand on its own if I move countries and I can't make videos of my mom, like, wag one, like, are you guys gonna watch my, my videos? But yeah, um, that's how I've been feeling on that kind of content and that kind of, like, <sighs> I'm gonna do highlighter and I'm gonna use the K pop glow up super shock cheek highlighter. And this was from the Karuchi and K pop collab k-pop colourpop collab this highlighter is like a nice natural gold highlighter with my youtube channel obviously some people are going to understand where i'm coming from 
some of my audience they're gonna understand where i'm coming from with this whole like this is my brand this is my business it's not just a channel and it's not just for fun and games and then some people are just like but me like come on another video then what's wrong with that put your mom in every video it's like some people aren't gonna understand some people will and i can't s stress over those who don't want to understand or don't have the capacity in their brain to understand i'm just going to move forward and do my own thing and not like be sad about it or think about it too too deep because at the end of the day it's my channel like i create the content that i want to create like i started this channel my mom didn't start the channel my mom didn't buy anything to start the channel when i was starting the channel she was cussing me telling me that youtube can't pay a bill get a job and you know what i mean this that you guys don't even know about this kind of stuff i don't talk about but you know maybe i should talk about it maybe I, maybe me and my mom should sit down and have a good chat <laughs> about it because honestly guys this whole youtube thing people only like you or want to be involved or known associated with you when you're doing well parents family members like strangers like where were you in the beginning <laughs> People say that all the time, but it's like, it's now that I'm just starting to experience it. Because I've never experienced this <laughs> before in my life. But for now, everyone's like, oh my gosh, your YouTube channel's doing so well. And my mom's like, oh my gosh. She used to be like, money, YouTube can't pay bills, like YouTube money can't pay. No, she's looking at my AdSense like, how much I make this month? Lad, God, already? And the month not even end yet. But she was telling me to get a job in the beginning when I wanted to focus my energy on doing YouTube, which obviously I understand to a certain extent. It's her house, you have, you've got to contribute. And especially when I dropped out of uni, she's like, you can't just come living up in my house, not paying rent, not contributing, not doing anything, just, just being there. But it's like, I was building towards something. It wasn't like I just dropped out of uni and I was just sitting down, staring in her face every morning, like, hi, what's for breakfast? Hi, can I borrow 10 pounds? Hi. May I, go, may I go out with my man, we need money. Like, I wasn't just, you know, do you get what I'm saying? I had a plan, like I was building, but at the time she didn't see it. That, well, she didn't understand that it could become something that you could live off and like, <laughs> actually make big, big money from. Oh, my face looked real good in the mirror. <laughs> Guys, if you see me on a holiday after this whole lockdown thing, mind your business because I've been stressed. And there's been so much more, like, on a deeper level that's been happening. But it's like, should I really sit and talk about it? My makeup's almost done. My lashes are on. That was a struggle, but I got there in the end. This is why I don't do lashes, because it just takes so damn long. I'm going to go in with my, um, a brown pencil. I've been watching Dynasty on Netflix. I actually just finished it. And it gave me an idea for content <laughs> and this is videos of just me like that's what i'm talking about fashion videos of just me but i'm going to tell you guys or show you guys when i start doing those videos i'm going in with the fenty beauty stunner lip painting on button and this is like a rosy nudie kind of shade i've never really been a netflix watcher like a tv show watcher a movie watcher I feel like movies are just so long. Some shows have like 15 different seasons and then you have to watch all the episodes to actually understand it. And it's just long for me to like sit down and give my attention to that kind of stuff. When I have editing to do and filming to do and lots of things to do. So yeah, <laughs> I've never really been one to watch these shows, but I've been working so hard recently. My, my friend was like, you need to take a break and just chill and just watch something on Netflix. And... I was like, okay, cool, innit? I'll watch this. He recommended me watching Dynasty. I watched it. It's actually really, really good. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. Oh, my hand is sweaty. Guys, if you don't know, like, I have sweaty hands and feet. It's called hyper... Hyper... Hydrosis? Something like that. Where your hands just sweat all the time. Even when I'm cold, they'd just be sweating. I feel like going over glass slipper. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a bit of that and put it on my ring finger and then put it on my lip because I don't want it to get contaminated. You see how crystal clear this is? I want to keep it that way. So I feel like I'm done. I feel like I'm so done right now. Oh. Oh. 
I feel like a bad bee. Okay. I'm just gonna go out and take some photos. If you guys wanna see the content that I'm shooting, then make sure you follow me on Instagram because that's where I'll be posting the pictures and the reels and the videos and all that good stuff. I've got these earrings in and these are from Pandora that my friend actually got me for Christmas. Thank you so much Naz, I love them. I wear them all the time. I'm gonna put on this perfume and this is Black Opium by YSL. Really, really, really love this fragrance. I actually did a video with my friend Navadine. She also has a channel where I was rating her perfumes and this, it smells so beautiful. I love it so much. Oh, where am I going all dressed up like this? <laughs> Guys, dressing up just makes me feel so happy. Like, I feel so good. I'm literally just going downstairs to take some photos for Instagram. I look so good and I feel so good. So much better than when I started. enjoyed it make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you leave a comment let me know what you think of my makeup make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye